Hi. A couple of years ago, I made a video about the overwhelming choices of online tools and platforms available to both music artists and industry professionals. Many have asked me to do an updated version because the online space is evolving at such a rapid pace that new tools are constantly replacing antiquated ones. Well, here's your updated version, and fear not, because the choices seem even more overwhelming in this one, which means I have to talk even faster to keep it short enough to sustain your interest. Just in case, I've created chapters this time if you'd like to skip around. However, I can't be responsible for what happens to your brain if you do. You may remember that at the end of the last video, I concluded that no matter what, the content has to be great, regardless of how it's distributed, marketed, or consumed. Don't forget, the music has to be great, or I don't know what we're talking about. And that still holds true today. Because if it isn't, then watching this video is probably a waste of your time. Okay, here we go, so buckle up. You still don't need the Donald Passing book, and you can still go to Blaze Track Star Polish and Music Biz Academy to ask business experts if you want, or others such as Hypos Music Think Tank, or Music Industry How To, or Pavor, or Music and Money, or you can keep listening here. Here's what you need this time. You still have to find the artists and discover new music. See what fans are investing in or voting on at Sell a Band, Slice the Pie, Kickstarter, Pledge Music, Indiegogo, Artist Share, Feed the Muse, Tune Fund, and Our Stage. Quick note, some of these platforms can be a great source for artists to raise money. Use TuneGlue, SongTweak, or Music Map to find music similar to what you like, or check out group listening sites such as Turntable FM or SoundDrop. I love you too. You can scour videos on YouTube or music channels such as Vivo and Warner Sound, or on Vimeo, MTV.com, BET, Muzu TV, Yahoo Music, Music Video Genome, AOL Music, Tube Radio, or Daily Motion. Or take recommendations from streaming sites such as Pandora, Last FM, Slacker, Django, Groove Shark, Rhapsody, A Track, Stereo Mood, Audio, iHeart Radio, TuneIn, Music Covery, Radio Reddit, and Mog, which may or may not become Daisy for Beats. Or on demand streaming sites such as Sony Music Unlimited, or just hear it. Or visit sites that allow people to share playlists or recommend music to friends, which some of the aforementioned streaming sites do as well, such as Spotify, Deezer, Songs, Jelly, Playlist.com, and Live 365. And by the way, every time a new one of these platforms pops up, it seems like they promise better curation, better sharing, and a bigger music catalog. You're not alone if you're confused. Or visit online social communities such as BuzzNet, Stagedom, SoundClick, or the new and improved MySpace Music. Use Shuffler FM, XFM, We Are Hunted, which just got acquired by Twitter, or the Hype Machine to help you find music through blogs and music sites, or check out Move Music for your mobile phone. Once you've found the music, now it's time to start promoting the artist. To first establish a presence online, you've got to cover the basics, including creating a profile on Facebook, setting up your own blog via Tumblr or WordPress or 45Press, creating a Twitter handle, establishing accounts with Instagram, Pinterest, and Vine, creating a Google Plus account, setting up a YouTube channel, or if you're big enough, perhaps seek a partnership with some of the bigger YouTube networks, such as Maker, Full Screen, Big Frame, or Machinima, create a profile on Keek to share video updates, or on YouNow, a social video network, or create your own social network with Social Go or Ning. Depending on the type of music and the audience that you're trying to reach, you may also want to set up a profile, not only Bebo, Lockers, Feed, High Five, Friendster, and Tag, but also Habbo and WeWorld to reach a younger audience, Internet DJ and Beatport for electronic artists, Pure Volume and Absolute Punk for rock artists, Plugged In Indie Heaven and Today's Christian Music for Christian artists, Hot New Hip Hop, I Hip Hop, Melodic Hustle, Hip Hop Profile, and Dope Tracks for Hip Hop artists, and My Country Space or the DH Network for country artists. Aspiring artists can check out Chart Burst, Talent Watch, Boom Dizzle, Broad Jam, Music Gorilla, Hoot Tune, We Love Your Songs, Overplay, Get Signed, Unsigned, Unsigned Only, MP3 Unsigned, or pretty much anything with the word Unsigned in its title to help you get noticed. To make it easier to connect to all these platforms and have tools to help grow your fan base online, whether you're ideating online marketing tactics or selling direct to fan or creating your own site, you may want to consider using platforms such as Topspin, Bandpage, Bands in Town, Bandzoogle, FanRx, TraxBuy, Artist Data, Artistopia, Indubum Music, FanBridge, Nimbit, SonicBids, Reverb Nation, SongPair, Music City Networks, Section 101, SoundCloud, or Mercado Musician. An artist may want to have a mobile app that works on the iOS and Android platforms. So check out Mobile Roadie, Epiction, Mob Base, Instant Encore, Gen Wee, Band App, and Blue Haze. Or try NetBiscuit, Seller Active, Apple Mobile, SpotTrot, and Hub FM for mobile e-commerce solutions. You'll want to build an online fan club to keep your fans engaged with exclusive content or merch, or for pre-sale ticketing, or to leverage your fan base to create new revenue streams. For that, you can use Artist Arena, Spark Art, and the Turnup Group. You've also got Live Nation's One Nation, Music Today, and Ticketmaster. And truthfully, I'm not sure if they're separate companies or one giant ancestor's mega company. Of course, you'll want to sell your music at some point. Once music is ready to sell, good luck. And again, I wish you luck considering all the ways that people can consume music for free out there. You want your music available on online retailers such as iTunes, Amazon, or Google Play, or in subscription sites such as Rhapsody, which acquired Napster, 7 Digital, or any of the aforementioned music sites that sell music. You'll need distributors such as TuneCore, InGrooves, Mondo Tunes, Ditto Music, Songcast, Zimbalum, The Orchard, which acquired IOTA, and CD Baby to help distribute your music to all these platforms. In addition to other platforms already mentioned, you can also use Vibe Deck, Gumroad, Face Tracks, and Chirpify to sell music directly to your fans in social media and use Chill Direct to sell videos directly to fans. Now you'll need to market and brand the artist to spread the word. If you need outside help, you should check your biz contacts on LinkedIn or branch out for your contacts on Facebook. As far as tools go, you'll need to make a video that you'll want to put up on your YouTube channel that hopefully gets picked up by Vivo and you'll also want to upload it to Vimeo, Flickr, Vidler, Blinks, Meta Cafe, and Dailymotion. Maybe you make a lyric video or an interactive
interactive video with help from Flixmaster, Vubix, Vipo, Overlay TV, or Interlude FM. Or maybe you crowdsource your video with help from Zupa, Pop10, or Genius Rocket, where the mobile apps CrowdSync and Viclone. If you want animation to be a part of your video, check out Animoto, GoAnimate, Zimmer Twins, Extra Normal, Digital Films, and Voki. Tools to help market your video include TubeMogul, TubeRank, Viral, or VidIQ, which helps promote your YouTube channel. Use Vine, Video, or Clip to create short videos to share from your mobile phone. Another tool could be creating webisodes to air on your YouTube channel, or maybe they're broadcast on Blip TV, VO, Revision 3, Motherboard TV, or Funny or Die, My Damn Channel, Jokeru, Break, or College Humor if they're funny. Social gaming is a great way to get your music exposed. MXP4 creates social music games. Tastemaker X is a social game for music discovery. You can also reach out to gaming companies such as Electronic Arts, Zynga, Crowdstar, LucasArts, Blizzard, Glue, Kabam, Insomniac Games, King.com, Activision, Peak Games, Wooga, Jellyvision, PopCap, Fresh Planet, and Supercell. You've also got gaming platforms to partner with, including Sony's PlayStation Network, Microsoft's Xbox 360, and Nintendo's Wii. Check Insights can be a great marketing tool as well. Shazam and Soundhound help identify songs and can be used to create listener anticipation by rewarding those who check in when they hear it. Into Now and Get Glue also allow users to check in to the entertainment that they're watching or listening to. Foursquare, the leading location check-in platform, can, for example, reward the first 10 fans to check into a venue with a meet and greet. Connecting with fans via video chat apps won't replace in-person human interaction, but can help artists be more personable with their fan bases. For that, you've got Google Plus Hangouts, Skype, Uvu, FaceTime, Google Talk, iChat, Windows Live Messenger, Ustream, WhatsApp, and Kik. Another creative way to get fans involved is to allow them to remix songs via Wemix or Indaba or the remix project from Club Create. Now Play it allows users to learn songs. Apps like Soundtracking and ThingLink allow you to create stories to share in social media combining music, video, photos, and text and turn your photos into GIFs with Cinegram. Now part of your marketing plan should be servicing your focus track to all the online radio streaming sites and with that you can't forget SiriusXM with its 20 plus million subscribers. Placing songs in film, TV, and video games and advertising is also a huge way for artists to gain exposure and a great source of publishing income. If you don't have a publisher to help provide that service, there are sites that help place your music, including Artist First Music, Jingle Punks, Rumble Fish, U License, Pump Audio, The Music Bed, Crucial Music, Creative License, Zinc Music, Elias Arts, Massive Music, The Lodge, Killer Tracks, Getty, and Beat Pick. Now, one of the best ways to grow your audience is by touring and having an amazing show. You can use GigFunder, WeDemand, Picatic, and Songkicks Detour, which lets fans use the process of crowdfunding to get gigs, and you've got here at local and online gigs as well. Bandtastic helps you with all kinds of touring needs. Better Than The Van helps you find places to stay on the road, and Bandmix helps you find other musicians. You'll need to update all the platforms that inform fans about live music, including Songkick, Bands in Town, Jam Bass, Thrill Call, Will Call, Timber, Deli Radio, Eventful, and Superglue. You can manage your tour with Artist Growth or Master Tour, and use ShowBuddy to help with your show presentation. You can use ticketing platforms such as Ticketfly, GigsWiz, Eventbrite, or any of the aforementioned fan club sites to gain more control of the direct-to-fan ticketing process. You'd stage it to earn more money performing concerts online or have your concert air on Shogo TV. Or use Ustream, SocialCam, Justin TV, Livestream, or Broadcast for Facebook for live streaming on the road. Then there's press and creating a PR buzz. You or your publicist can pitch blogs such as Gawker, Stereo Gum, Brooklyn Vegan, Pitchfork, Record Label, Day Trotter, and Pop Break, or magazine sites such as The Fader, Paste, Vice, Black Book, Filter, Spin, Vibe, and Magnet, with the hope of generating mainstream music news sites like Artist Direct, XSL, Entertainment Weekly, MTV, Fuse, Rolling Stone, USA Today, The LA Times, Billboard, etc. Now, all of these marketing tools cost money, so artists may want to consider crowdfunding at aforementioned sites to raise money, or partnering with a brand, or yes, even partnering with a record label. That about covers it for this version. I'm sorry if I didn't mention your platform on this one. Remember, none of these tools replace the need for direct human interaction. Good luck, and may the force be with you. Take it easy.